In this tutorial, I will show you how I would go about creating a sky for this illustration. The sky for a dusk image like this would typically have warm hues close to the horizon and, and cooler hues at the top. So let me start by creating a new layer. And on this layer, I will create a gradient. For the foreground color, I will choose the blue and the background will go with yellow. And then using the gradient tool, I will drag straight down. I will hold the shift key to go straight down. Now let's put this layer on multiply blending mode. And at this point, I can adjust my gradient a little bit. I can use uh, uh, transform tool, control T, command T on the Mac. S basically what I'm doing is I'm scaling this so I can warm up the sky a little. Now I will put a uh, layer mask tool on this layer. And again, with the gradient, I will drag straight up to get rid of this yellow here that overlaps my building. And now I will add photographs. Uh, this time I will add a layer mask, but I will use the brush tool to remove portions of that sky. I, uh, I'm using, uh, for opacity, I have around 50% here to get a nice smooth transition. Now, the nice thing about working with layer masks is that you can paint away and by hitting X key on your keyboard, you can paint back in. You hit X again and you're painting away. With the right, right mouse button, um, I will bring up this box, dialog box, and um, I will duplicate this layer. Control T, uh, hit the right, right mouse button again, uh, flip horizontal. Uh, I wanna add more color on the right. Scale, scale this a little so it just looks different. Again, on the mask, brush away maybe some areas here. Let's add another photo. I will move this down I, to get Few, maybe a few more clouds at the bottom, closer to the horizon. Put a layer mask on this again, with the brush tool again, brush away. You can adjust your opacity as required to get this done quickly. Got a little too much haze at the top here, I'll brush this away. Remove some of this some of those other photographs here. Come back on this layer. Make sure there's no edges. With this last layer I've added here, I will put this on an overlay blending mode. I get, I get a nice glow to this. Now the blending modes is something you really have to experiment with. Um, it's just all about how the layers interact with one another. Let me not add another photograph. Maybe scale. This photo is pretty large, extending beyond our um, image area. Maybe put that right over here. Put that on overlay blending mode. And again, with a layer mask, let's just paint away. So you can achieve different combinations with uh, only a few photographs. You can sort of mix and match them together to really create a, a unique, uh, more interesting sky. So that's about it, and thanks for uh, watching my tutorial.